Hi, I'm Kayla and I'm going to be performing administering oxygen therapy skills video today. First, I would perform hand hygiene. Next, I would enter the patient's room, ensure privacy, let the patient know, hi, my name is Kayla. I'm going to be your nurse today and I'm going to be admin administering oxygen. Next, I would ask the patient for their name and date of birth and check their wristband to verify. Next, I would gather my supplies. So I have here my extension tubing, my nasal cannula, a partial non-breather mask, and some gauze. I would make sure my gloves are applied, let the patient know I'm now going to apply the nasal cannula. So I would attach the end of the nasal cannula to the extension tubing, the extension tubing to the flow meter on the wall and make sure that it's screened for oxygen. Um, and I wanna set it to one to six liters for the nasal cannula. Next, I'm going to apply the nasal cannula. So we would start at the nose and I would make sure, go around the ears and I would make sure that it's snug but not too tight. We can adjust it here. And I'm going to do regular assessments to check for skin breakdown. I would check behind the ears, nose, nostrils, cheekbones. Next, I would apply the partial non-breather mask, let my patient know you're a bit short of breath, so we're gonna apply this mask for a higher flow rate. So I would go ahead and remove, and we would discard this in the trash. So for our non-breather mask here, we're going to attach the extension tubing here to the mask, and we're gonna attach the end of it to the flow meter on the wall. Make sure that it's green for oxygen. And now we're going to apply the mask. So I would start at the nose here and apply it over the ears. Make sure it's nice and snug. We can adjust the metal here over the nose. It's kind of falling, but we would make sure that it's nice and snug and go over the chin area here. And we would set this flow meter to 10 to 12 liters for the partial non-breathing mask. Uh, we want to make sure that this bag, there's oxygen flowing at all times and it does not compress. Next, I would also make regular assessments to make sure that there are no skin breakdowns. We can use the gauze for all masks to prevent skin breakdown and I would use this gauze maybe around their cheekbones. I could apply it under here like this. And I could put it under the ear, over the ears and maybe bridge of nose like that. Make sure it's comfortable for the patient. Once oxygen therapy is complete, I'll let them know your oxygen saturation is back to normal. We can now remove the mask. And we would discard it in the trash. I would perform hand hygiene. Make sure my patient is in a comfortable position and let them know that I will be documenting what we did.